Horse Girl, and today we are going to be doing our Briar Haul. So let's go! So let's start with my Briars. So this is my favorite Briar. He is the 2015 um, Triple Crown winner. And he is my favorite because I love barrel racing and stuff like that. I know he's not a barrel racing horse, but he is for speed. And so, and he has like no defects on him at all. He's got a few little paint specks. Huh? No, Maybe it's not. Just dust. That's just dust. He has That's like not. no defects at all. This is my second favorite. His name is Snowman, and he is a show jumper. And He's really pretty and I love him. And yeah, he's got a pretty cool story too, so he's a neat horse. Um, so my first favorite horse is probably Secretariat. So this is the old model of Secretariat. This is like the original version of Secretariat. They also have a version of Secretariat, which is a newer model that looks like this, but um, and on a stand and stuff, but this is the very first model of Secretariat, and he's my favorite. And then my second favorite would be the first Briar that I ever got, and this is Kimo Sabi. He um, is an Arabian stallion, and he's just a really cool horse. It was the, like I said, the first Briar that I ever got, so he's really special to me. So um, when I was little, my dad would get me a Briar horse for Christmas every single year. So that's why I have the briars that I have. And then that tradition carried on with Danny. So when Danny was born, my dad started to get her a briar horse for Christmas every year. So the tradition carries on and it's really cool. Even though I was slightly jealous that I wasn't getting briar horses anymore. I don't, I don't know why, just because I had a kid that means I didn't get briar horses anymore, but whatever. So this one was my first briar horse. We don't know her name, her name, her, his name. Um, but he's really cute, and he used to have a rose, um, like shawl thing. It was like a yeah. That one around his neck, but I lost it. And but he has this cute little nose here, and he is has dings all over him from me playing with him when I was younger. <laughs> so this is Sugar Maple, and she. Oh, it's a horse. It doesn't matter. Well, I always say he. <laughs> Just say he then. <laughs> so this is Sugar Maple, and he is a really pretty horse. And this is not actually what he looks like in real life. This it's is... like a limited edition series, yeah. and it's like about maple syrup, and that's why Danny got this one this because we make maple, maple syrup. syrup. And I only have two briars that are on stand, which is American Pharaoh and Sugar Maple. And then I have this one. We don't know his name, but he, um, we bought, my mom bought him at a garage sale for me. It's a briar and he's cool, so I bought him. <laughs> <laughs> I would guess it's, um, a quarter horse of some form. This leopard Appaloosa here is another one of my favorites. And I really like him because I really like a, a leopard Appaloosa and I'd really like to have one someday and I really like black and white horses too. So it's, one, it's one of my favorites. And then this is Indian War Horse. Indian War Horse. Indian War Pony? Indian War Pony. Indian Appaloosa Indian War Pony or something like that. And but this one is isn't based off of a real horse. It's just, just a model. Model. And I really like him because he has the little, like, the little feathers. feathers. Mm -hmm. And then he's an Appaloosa, so automatically he's one of my favorites. <laughs> There's this one. He is rearing. And we were, when we were setting up, I thought he went like this. <laughs> he doesn't know. So, and I also really like this one because I really like paints. And, but I also, and I also have a miniature horse named Ruby. And she is brown and white, red and white-ish colored mm -hmm. mini. And I really like this one because it resembles her. 
like perfectly actually mm -hmm. okay. pretty close yeah except for the black in the main then there's this one and he is a ranch type horse of some sort because he has the um brand i think it was brand. a barrel racer we don't racer. know if you guys know what horse this is but barrel racers like he is short but like barrel racers aren't just like wide well, it depends on the horse don't stereotype me <laughs> no but we yeah. don't we can't remember what it is i believe this one is named though this one's created after somebody but i can't remember who um it has this brand right here um so if anybody knows what horse this is comment down below and this one is all dented and dinged up from when i was playing with him from when i was little there is like all sorts of like little marks on him that are just like worn away. So here's this one, a little um, Palomino pony. And I played with him lots when I was little too. There's like paint or something on his tail right here. And he's all dinged up, but I like this one. It kind of looks like Nika. Yeah, Like it Brandy's does. horse. First little horse, midget. Briar Modeling Company. He's got a logo, but don't know who he is. But it does look like Nika. <laughs> So, we'll call this one Nika. Okay, so these ones are the spirit horses. This one, I oh, told you this one's spirit too! <laughs> yeah, they're all, well. This one is just Briar Company. It has the logo on it. But these ones have the little spirit logo on the bottom of them. This one and this one. that one. And so. These one, this one is on my Snickers Monument thing that I have in my room. It's just a bunch of, it's a picture of him and his, a book that my mom made me of him and his hair and his hoof print and stuff like that on there. But, so this one goes on there and then he is one of my favorites too. And I got these three from my cousin Ryan too. So, And then these two are spirit and they just go on my bookshelf. I like how full his tail is. Like, but I, they look nothing like. alike. Yeah, but spirits... Do. Mane and tail was really full in the movie. So. And he's running, so all of his hair is fluffed up oh. and tight. Is that what it is? Yep. Okay. So, now we're going to talk about my briars. Um, they're old. Um, the only model that we have that matches... Perfectly. Because they're the same model. These two. I don't think there are any of the other ones are the same model. Oh, maybe... I have two that match, but Danny and I, between the two of us, these are the only two that we have that match. This was, uh, I, I can't remember what he was, but he was some type of, um, pony. I don't know, but. Oh, I thought, uh, sorry, I thought these two matched this one no. and this one matched, but they didn't. No, they don't. So these are the only two models that we have that match between the two of us. Um, this is... Danny, one of Danny's spirit horses, and then this is mine. He was a pony. I don't remember his name or, like, anything about him, but um, he's cute. So, that one's mine. And then I had this uh, Tennessee walking-ish looking Morgan horse. Maybe he's a standard bred. I don't know. But he was really cool. Um, I like the way he stands. I like this like model type and then he's got this little ribbon in his mane So he was really cute. You can tell I played with him a ton. He's got all kinds of marks all over him He was one of the tough horses when I played with him. So he's really cute and then This was the other one that was one of my favorites to play with when I was a kid This was just an Indian war pony um, also has the paint on the side of his face and he's in the rearing position, and he was just one of my favorites. I got this one when I was a little bit older. You can still see where he fell a few times and stuff like that, but I, again, I don't know the names of any of these horses, which is really super sad to me now. I wish I would have, like, wrote it down or something, but I didn't. So, again, if any of you guys know the names to any of these Briar horses, make sure to comment down below, because I'm curious to know, too. Um, so I don't know the name of that one. This one, I remember the name. This one's Cinnamon. And I only remember this one's name because I didn't like 
how unrealistic the white to the brown looked. So that's why I remembered this one's name because it wasn't one of my favorites. I do like it because it's an Appaloosa, but I don't like it because it's not, like the spots are all perfectly aligned. And then, like I said, the coat pattern doesn't fade nicely. So this was, so the, and the coat, the spots are all perfect and the coat pattern doesn't align. So this one wasn't one of my favorites, so that's why I remember its name. Its name was Cinnamon. But it is it's still a pretty model. Um, I still like it. It just wasn't one of my favorites. And this one was an Appaloosa Stallion, Arabian Appaloosa Stallion. And this one is beat up. This is one of my oldest ones. And there's marks all over this thing from playing with it when we were little. Um, yeah, this is one of my favorite ones too. We all actually have the full set of this. My dad has the full to this one and my sister has the mare to this one. So that's really cool. So this is Wop Spotted. He is a cool little Appaloosa horse, Appaloosa sport horse actually. Um, I could be mistaken, but I think he's a thoroughbred Appaloosa cross. Um, he was a really good jumper and he was one of my favorite horses in my teenage years when I really got into jumping and things like that. He has the... <gasps> That's terrifying. We'll get back to this horse and why it falls all the time in a minute. But um, he has the same model as Secretariat, um, the same form, whatever. This little guy was also one of my first ones. I believe it was like my second or my third briar. And he got played with a ton. Um, he was just one of the little briar minis. And he's super cute. Does little blanket. And this little Shetland pony. My dog chewed on. So that's unfortunate. Um, but this one, my friend Corey got for me for my birthday one year. Because I had a little Shetland pony when I was younger. And her name was Smokey. And so it just kind of, Smokey was a little bit like of a, a gray or dapply gray color, but it's the same type of horse. So it was really sweet of her. She got me this one, one for my birthday one year. And then Corey also got me this Briar Horse model. This is one of Beezy's horses. I cannot remember its name. Um, but I was obsessed with this horse when I was in high school because I was really into dressage and um, I can't for the life of me remember this horse's name. And it also really bugs me because this model, if, watch if I let go, just falls right over. Um, out of the box, I should have returned it when I was younger but I didn't know any better. This back leg right here is crooked and twists inward. So it doesn't stand, which is a super bummer because there's a bunch of scuffs and things on it from falling over, um, but that's a real bummer. <laughs> so out of the box, this one was defective. I have one more briar that we thought was my mom's and we mm -hmm. accidentally put it over there, but it's mine. It's just a little... I think it's oh, a baby spirit. I know. I was just going to say it's baby spirit, it looks like. I'm not sure. No, it doesn't have any legs. white legs. This one is mine. And when I was little, I used to be obsessed with Flicka. Mm -hmm. And so uh, my grandpa got me this one. Yep. For my for Christmas one year. Yep. So this is Flicka. She used to watch the movie all the time. Over and over and over and over. And then this is Matrix. I got him when I was two. The only reason I know that is because he was the 2018 Collector's Edition. And he's really, really pretty, and I really like him a lot. And he's, I just like him a lot. So mm -hmm. I like his, his box is unique. His box is unique. He's a limited edition. I don't know. He's pretty. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he's a specific horse. Yeah, he he's, is. Did you not see that? That's him. No, I don't think that's actually him, though. This is integra into, 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 integrity. Integrity. I always think it's integery. <laughs> integery. <laughs> um. So this is integrity, and he is a sport horse. And the reason why, well, he is just a cool horse is because he is 28 years old, and he is still competitive. Competitive. Competing. At and least one. 
when they made this model, he was still. He was 28 years, 28 years old and still competing in um, endurance. I think he's an endurance horse. So, very cool horse. He's number 1,791. <laughs> <laughs> so this is Nugget. This is Guy McLean's horse. Um, I saw Guy McLean uh, perform at the Midwest Horse Fair once, and he was pretty cool. And um, I thought some of the stuff he did was pretty neat. He's got a real good relationship with his horses and it's really cool. So um, my sister for Christmas that year then got me this Briar horse. So that was really sweet of her. And I really think this is a cool one. He's from Australia. This one is another Dressage Warm Blood. He was the 2004 Olympic gold medal winner. And I can't say his name. Celtic. I'm going to call him Celtic because I can pronounce that word. And he, at that time I was um, really into dressage riding as well. You know, jumping dressage kind of goes hand in hand. So um, my sister got me this one for Christmas after they created this model, I think in 2005. Um, so very cool horse. So this one is my briar. It is War Horse for Joey. And he came out of the movie War Horse, and it's a movie where a boy gets this horse and he trains it up and stuff, and then it has to get sent out to war, and then he actually, the boy goes out to, the, to war and gets the horse mm -hmm. and brings it back home. Okay, so these are all the briars that we do not know the names of. So if any of you guys can help us out and comment down below which horse's name is which, that'd be great. Because I'm curious to know. Are you mocking me? No. Oh my god. So, let us know. In the comments below. <laughs> for this week make sure to like share and subscribe check out my instagram at underscore dm and we'll see you guys next week bye <laughs> <laughs> something like that <laughs>